Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Gamer. We're back in Kichi Joji, which is uh, a little strange how it just seems like everything's normal, despite everything going on in the world right now. But hey, Kichi Joji will forever be Kichi Joji. We're here because we came to play some darts with the with the gang, but uh, as I as I arrived, I noticed Lavenza has uh, has some stuff she wants to say to us, and apparently, oh. she still has memories from when she was split in two. Spending time with you and visiting all sorts of places together. So I've been wondering, would you show me your current home? I would like to see the room that has shaped you into the person you've become. I do understand my timing is not the most appropriate given the current state of the world, but... Ahahaha. <laughs> oh, I thought we were done with this. <laughs> I thought we were done with this. Oh no. I mean, sure. Let's go. Let's do this. I came to play darts. I came home with the lolly. I, mm, mm. Thank you. The FBI would like to know my location. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you so much. Let us be off immediately. Sure. What's the, uh, what's the worst that could happen? This is a storage room, yes? But where is your room? Uh, the, this, this is the room. You're looking at it. Oh, I would never have guessed. So you prefer cramped, dingy spaces? How fascinating. Prefer or just dealing with? There's a, there's a major difference between those two. Please learn the difference. Please, tell me more about yourself. Who, me? I mean, oh, sure. I'm sensing some unusual energy around this desk. Oh, yeah. Your infiltration tools are made here? Could I possibly try my hand at it? You, you? You, you want to try making some lockpicks? I mean, sure. You, you know how? Well, I've never made them before, but there is a first time for everything, correct? True. All right, sure. Give it a go. What could now, possibly go wrong? what should I make? Ah, I know. To show my gratitude for rescuing me, I shall craft for you a secret weapon. Ooh, a secret weapon? I like the sound of that. I think you'll be rather pleased with it. Sounds good to me. Just uh, don't work on the laptop. Don't work hmm. on the laptop. This is trickier than I expected. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, I can fix that. Oh, no. Okay, this is going about as well as I expected. Uh, Lavenza, darling, do you... Ouch. What? Cursed screwdriver. How dare you defy your wielder? <laughs> it doesn't have a will of its own. Obey me. Drive those screws. Ugh. <laughs> Are you okay there? Oh, screw it. What? Megido? D wait, no! It seems my time out of body has led to my becoming somewhat undexterous. You're about to nuke my home! What is wrong with you? You're about to set the coffee shop on fire! Oh, no! All right, yeah, we're never letting you do this again. Nope, that's not happening. Uh-uh, done. Dunzo, gone. Get out. Be gone. Oh, my God! While it pains me to say it, your secret weapon will have to wait. More importantly, I should be using this time to learn more about you. I mean, sure. Yeah, learn more about me. Don't blow me up, please. Is this your bed? It, it is. It's surprisingly similar to the one in your cell. Can you truly rest here? Well, some say your bed is just a prison of its own making. Oh, jeez. It comes with a cat. So you can pet it as much as you like whenever you rest. I must say I am a bit jealous. Still, this space seems somewhat cramped for a fully grown human and a feline. Yeah, well, you make do. May I sit? Please, go ahead. Optimum firmness, ideal warmth. I'm not sure why, but I feel so calm here. <sighs> oh no, you're gonna pass out, aren't you? You, you really are a sleepy attendant. You, you even slept in the nurse's office. She fell asleep. Great. You fiend. You'll pay for splitting me in two. Wait, what? Let's see how your holy grail holds up to this sledgehammer. Take that. Huh? It didn't work. Are you, are you fighting fake Igor in your dreams? Uh-oh. Uh, 
Are you okay there? Was I talking? Nope, didn't hear a word. You, you were sleep fighting. <laughs> it sounded pretty intense. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, oh, really? You don't, huh? It was just so comfortable. Perhaps I allowed myself to relax a little too much. I sense some residual energy here as well. What, my cross beams? Ah, you use it for training. May I ask for a demonstration? I mean, sure. Come on! One, two! One, two! Oh, come on! Don't you start doing this! But you're back into it! You think you can save the world like that? One, two! One, two! One, two! One, two! Do you know three, four? Don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm doing this for your sake. <laughs> Great! My arms are going to cramp up! Well done! Such commendable willpower. Thanks. I can sense some lingering energy around this television. Or is it actually coming from the box attached to it? Oh yeah, you mean my uh my hand eye coordination this? training. Uh yeah, wanna try it out? I've only heard of them in stories, but is this one of your world's vaunted video games? Yeah, indeed it is. Some would say this is getting kind of meta, but we won't go they there. They say that once a player begins, they're unable to tear themselves away. Dude, it's so true. If it truly can entrance humans to such a degree, could you play a bit for me? All right, sure. I see. You're piloting the spaceship, and your objective is to destroy the oncoming enemies. Look how they scatter. This is quite impressive. You weave around each bullet with dizzying precision. Whoa, there's so many of them now. Oh, you're surrounded. Look out, on your right. I mean left. No, they're in front now. Use the boost. Oh my god, I hate backseat gamers. Look, it's the boss. Fire the beam cannons. Annihilate it. Yes, ma'am. I beat the game. You did it! The world is saved! <laughs> I mean, in the video game. <clears throat> A most dexterous display. Do you want I to try? Let me see why humans get so passionate about these games. Perhaps what do you? I'll ask my master if we can install one in our room. Can you imagine fucking Igor playing Galaga? No, Igor playing Contra. This is the image that I have. I've enjoyed this first-hand glimpse into your daily life. It was quite illuminating. Before I became whole, I visited many places with you and gained a wealth of new experiences. Thanks to that, I feel like I've come to understand humans better. And perhaps more importantly, I feel like I understand you better. Oh, really? Well, that's good. So, thank you. Hey, anytime. This was actually relatively enjoyable. Honestly, not nearly as harrowing as the experiences with your uh, split personalities. Though you have cast off your shackles. I will still await you in that room. This is a token of my gratitude for today. Please take it. Sure. Enduring soul. Ooh, that's a it good would one. It'd be a shame if I were to leave so soon. May I stay a little longer? Sure. Aw. After hanging out for a while longer, I escorted her back to the Velvet Room. Well, that's kind of sweet in its own way. Poor little Lavenza. Yeah, she's cooped up in the Velvet Room all day long. She needs some time to go out and have some fun. That was a good, that was a good uh, way to spend an evening. <laughs> that was actually kind of cute. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Japan first in list of most prosperous countries. Others are praising it as the perfect model of a developed country. The first economic boom of the 21st century. Several businesses are reporting massive increases in earnings. The new cabinet shows strong approval ratings. Has our antiquated political system been changed for the better? <sighs> Everyone's faces look so calm for some reason. Yeah, because everything seems to be coming up, you know, fucking rainbows and unicorn farts. It's just... <laughs> yeah, of course everybody looks happy. But it's not real. What's up? Oh, what's up, Ryuji? What's up? Waiting to ambush me? Don't say it like that, man. Hmm. So, musical. You got time later? It was something I wanted to talk to you about. If you're free, I mean. Sure. Sweet, thanks. It's definitely worth waiting around. Whoa! 
Oh, crap, is everyone else already at school? We gotta book it! All right, we book it, we shall. You know, I was cleaning my room the other day and found a collection of stories that I bought when I was a student. You've all heard of the Restaurant of Many Orders by Kenji Miyazawa, right? It was aimed at children, but even when you read it now, it really pulls you in. Speaking of, one of Kenji Miyazawa's strengths is his sense of naming fictional lands in his stories. Ihatov is the most famous among them. This place is loosely named after the author's hometown. Okay, now Gamer Coon. Oh, God damn it, Kawakami. Where do you think the fictional land of Ihatov is modeled after? Uh, would it be Iwate? Okay, good, because it was this relatively it. close. Way yeah, both start with that E sound. Ihatov is Kenji Miyazawa's fantasy world, his utopia. The utopia is an ideal world separate from our own world. Uh, maybe I should ask. Yeah, borrow my notes. Nice I am going. I am truly an intelligent human being. You should study my notes. Study the way of my life. I shall lead you all to the path of righteousness. Your own little paradise, huh? It'd be amazing if that actually existed. All the booze and meat you want. Oh, but then it'd be fat <laughs> and perpetually hungover. You know what? Maybe things aren't so bad as they are. Kawakami's pretty realistic. Yeah, I would say so. I get the feeling she's not being affected by Maruki's thing. I, I don't know why, but it's just the, uh... It's just the feeling I get. Buzz, buzz. Hey, guys. Not the actualization. Did something happen? One of my fellow artists no longer works in the medium. You mean they gave a painting? To be more precise, their entire history and existence as a painter are no more. For real? Actualization sure is some spooky stuff. But doesn't that mean Maruki just killed their dream? No, this reality, they have apparently always been in archery. They're quite skilled as well, from what I've gathered. Seriously? But why archery? I don't know the exact reasoning, but it's most likely Maruki's judgment call. He pried into your associate's cognition and concluded archery be the best fit for them. So that's what Dr. Maruki considers salvation. He probably concluded that the arts were just generating suffering for them. I suppose he thought this would be a superior path. Now that you mention it, they did say before that they were stuck in a terrible slump. But doesn't that mean all of the effort up until now is just... wasted? Protecting people from their pain must matter more than their lost efforts. From his point of view, of course. Hmm. Yeah, what a hell hole. I couldn't have put it better myself. It's so pretentious, it's nauseating. <sighs> the only way you're past to live in blissful ignorance. Yeah, I could never live like that either. It really is kind of a disturbing world when you think of it that way. Uh, I've already given up on that dream. I want to take better care of myself. Man. <laughs> it's like, it's weird. The world is a mix of both like pragmatism and dreamers. But the dreamers are only dreamers if their dreams work out well. It's, it's so weird. Yeah, Ryuji wants to talk. Ah, hello there, uh, flower shop. Sorry. But uh, I got some, uh, I got some other business to take care of. Makoto and Ryuji are both interested in hanging out. Oh, no. oh, 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 sue me, sue me, my dear. Oh God, people are yelling at me that I should go hang out with the other people. I plan to, God damn it. But sue me comes first. Christ, <laughs> we have plenty of time. We'll hang out with everybody else when we, uh, when when we when we get to it. But sue me is my number one concern right now. And she will be. And there's nothing you could do or say to change that. Hey there, darling. How you doing? Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Uh, now let's, uh, let's hang out. What? It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't overthink I it. I see. I'm trying to do everything I can do right now. Thinking of taking a special lesson from the coach at my club. It's a special program that centers on around boxer sizing. It relieves stress and it's open to the public. I was thinking you could come along if you wanted. Ooh, boxer sizing. That sounds kind of deadly, but sure, let's do it. Thank you so much. I'll introduce you to Coach uh, Hi Hiroguchi-san once my lesson ends. She's an amazing person. She's been guiding Kasumi and me since we were little. We should get going. Oh, well, all right then. Sure, let's do it. Let's meet the coach. It, we, we haven't yet you met know. the coach. 
Hasumi helped me through this special regimen several times. Oh, she put her hair back in the ponytail. <laughs> I never really thought I'd see her do that. It gets tough after a while. Your limbs start feeling heavier the longer you keep them up. Whenever we did this before, all I could focus on was how well Kasumi was doing and how much I wanted to stop. Kasumi was probably so disappointed in me. I got tired out so quick. Well, I mean, were you frustrated? It's not that I was frustrated. I just felt so miserable that I couldn't match up to Kasumi. She never doubted herself for a second. And then there's me. Oh, I think it's almost time for my coach to show up. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, is she scary or something? Yes. You could say that. She's tough on us, but she's a great mentor. She's been helping Kasumi and me for a long time. Even though all my stupid delusions are as Kasumi, she never stopped helping me. I don't know what I'd do without her. That's good. Hey, there she is. How are you? Hello, Coach Hiroguchi. Sumire? Maybe it's just my imagination, but you seem like your old self again. Y yes, I'm sorry I worried you. Um, I've... I've been running away from what happened to my sister. So you realized. Are you okay now? Please, I'm not totally back to, to my normal self, but I'm working towards a new goal. I want to be the best in the world. So now I'm going to do what I can as Sumire. I see. By the way, who's this? Oh, um, this is my senpai from school. We both came here for a lesson. Oh, so you're... Fine. You, you, let's have you go first, Sumire. You can start with your combination. Uh, yes, yes. ma'am. Wow, look at her go. Hey! Duck and weave, duck and weave. She's got some amazing moves. She's freaking fast. She's really got those aggressive moves down. She really is just like her sister. Okay, you can take a break. We'll do some more later. Ah, thank you very much. Hey, you did well there, Sumi. Good for you. Thank um, you for bringing me here. Kochi thanks for all your help today. So, how did I do? I tried to put some real force into that combination. You said you were going to perform a Sumire this time. I didn't see that at all. All I saw out there was Kasumi. Or a shadow of her, at least. <sighs> what? Kasumi defined her performance by her boldness, yes. That's not something you can appropriate for yourself. It came from the energy within her. That's what made her Kasumi. I told you to think about who you really are. Seems like you still don't understand what I meant. Oh dear. You need to stop hiding behind Kasumi. If you keep denying yourself like this, how can she still call you her rival? Huh? What's that supposed to... I never wanted to draw attention to it, but Kasumi had a very com a competitive streak. She hated to lose. She would always tell me she was so jealous of her little sister and her delicate, graceful style. I can't lose to her, she said. I wanted you to see that. She... she said that? that that's impossible. Kasumi could do anything, and I... I was nothing. I've said all I wanted to say. But I suggest you think a little harder about it. Okay, it's your turn now. Get ready. Oh god. Oh ho! Oh, duck and weave me! Duck and weave! Uh, you, uh... You okay there? Thank you, but I'm fine. I noticed she was quite impressed with your physical abilities. Compared to you, though, I was pitiful. Me? Graceful? Now that I think about it, I guess that's the one thing my coach used to compliment me on. But even with that, I couldn't match Kasumi's performance at all. Now she says Kasumi saw me as a rival? I don't believe it. Well, I mean... Boldness versus gracefulness. Eh. They're both very different. You just need to kind of tap into that strength. And it could, it could definitely work. I... I mean, all I was doing was imitating her. Ever since the beginning, I was just following Kasumi. I was fine in the beginning. I loved being with Kasumi, and it was fun. But ever since I started noticing the difference in our gymnastic skills, one thing became clear. I'll always be someone less than Kasumi. 
I'm just worthless after all. Oh, come on. That isn't true. Thank you very much. Thank you for saying that. You're very kind, senpai. Still, something occurred to me when Co Coach told me what Kasumi said. I realized, just like she wanted to show me what she could do, I still want you to see my own abilities. You remember? Like when I tried to show off back at the batting cages? Oh, true. Oh, maybe that's what I need to chase. Maybe that feeling could help me get some confidence. It sounds like even Kasumi like my more subtle and delicate moves, so... If I mix it with her aggressive style... Ah, there you go. It'll be like a duet. I like the sound of that. Right? Maybe I'll be able to step up my routine. If the key here is showing you what I can do, then I just need you to watch me again. Senpai, will you go out with me again? Yeah, of course. I can... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another love confession. Hmm. What? what? Le oh, look at that face! <laughs> I mean, I'm love. I, I didn't mean. <gasps> oh, well, all right. Looks like this time, uh, this has had a uh, this has had some sort of effect on her. Hmm. I mean, um, I wasn't. I didn't mean to. I was just hoping to get your help and. <laughs> Wait, senpai. Are you just messing with me? Sorry, I couldn't help it. But I hope you know I really will be relying on you. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Sumire. Wow! All right. Good to know. Hmm. All right. Things are beginning to shift. I see. I'll think about what else I can do. When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Oh, is it time already? Let's get going. All right, thanks to her training, my stamina has All increased. Right. Huzzah! Perfect. More HP. HP is good, Siv. <laughs> ah, that was worth it. I got my heart going, Doki Doki. Oh, Senpai, thank you for coming with me today. Coach Hiroguchi is so strict, isn't she? She wasn't going easy on you at all. She used to make me and Kasumi work so hard. She was so harsh, she even made me cry a couple times. But Kasumi said she was probably tough on us because she saw our potential. Thanks to Kasumi supporting me with her strength, I kept working hard. It didn't seem like you were struggling at all, though. You might be just as tough as Kasumi. Amazing. Hey, I love a good challenge. Oh, I see. So you let the struggle fuel you. I wish I could do that. I can't stop thinking about what she mentioned, though. My own energy, huh? I guess I'm the only one who can find that answer. I'll try with everything I have. For now, though, I'll talk to you later. Yes, catch you later, Sumi. Catch you later. We'll be hanging out again real soon. Real soon. Uh, yeah. by real soon, I mean tonight, because we're going to go to the darts. Oh, wait, what's this? Got a really scary request. It says, kill me. Uh, we don't do hits, Mishima. I know that, but we can't just ignore it either, can we? The guy's name is now Minamoto. Plus, both his parents are really young, and he's had to take care of his little sister ever since. He's been working really hard at a part-time job to support them both, but... By now, he hates his sister so much that he can't take it. She's his only family, but he can't control how he feels. At some point, he was so mad he shoved her, but she stumbled, and... I guess she got hurt really badly. It was an unfortunate accident, but he says he can't accept that. Hmm. So it's a penance thing, huh? Yeah, he wants to be stopped before he kills his family. But changing his heart is bound to help somehow, right? You need to kill off those negative feelings inside of him. Kill me, huh? Talk about a morbid request. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Oh, my young sister, I cry for you. <laughs> Jeez, sure that's not you, Narukami. Oh, crossword puzzle. Hey, hey. Sure, let's take a look at this. What do we got? Co-opted Celtic holiday. What? Christmas? A reward for tricks? Traditional magician? Wait. D R U I D. Traditional magician. We're talking about the Celts. That would be druid, wouldn't it? But there is no D. I uh, I really do feel like we're looking at cri No 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 no. Keep trying. We're looking at Christmas here. There's the S. There's the T. Traditional magician? Tri I I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, there is no M. Huh. 
co-opted Celtic holiday. Because I know that was, uh, oh, well, no, Christmas was, uh, wasn't Celtic, it was Germanic. Wasn't it? Rewards for tricks. T-R-E-A-T-S. Treats? A. T. S. You know, Halloween. Are we, are we talking about Halloween here? Hello. Ween. E, E, yeah, that fits, actually. Uh, okay. Is that it? That is it! Oh, fair enough. A holiday held on October 31st with conflicting origin stories, such as a harvest festival for the ancient Celts and a Christian holiday for honoring the saints. Yes, All Hallows' Eve. The term jack-o'-lantern also has a range of attributed sources, but it's generally agreed that jack-o'-lantern carving for the spooky holiday originated in Ireland. All right. All right, fair enough. Well, that's a, uh, that's another crossword done. I thought we were done with the crosswords at this point. Interesting. All right, well, either way, that has been finished. Let us head on over to... There is uh, nobody to really to hang out with, I would imagine. Yeah, no. We, we, be, we be good on that front. We're gonna go do some darts. We're gonna go play with Sumi and Akechi, I hope. Because uh, they're the two who need the work. And then we'll max out the Breton Pass Welcome. ranks. Welcome. What do you play? Uh, let's play some darts. What do you want to do? Yes, we are going to play with uh, Sumire. Hey, hey. Thank you. Let's do it. Yeah, should be fun, right? Yes. All right, guys, let's meet. Now, did Akechi come with us? No, he did not. Hey. We're going to have to hang out with him again at another point, I suppose. Um. Musical Senpai, can we play a match together? I think I'll throw straighter if I'm team with you. Yeah, sure, let's do it. We'll give uh, 301 a good shot. Well, let's go. You can do it, I'm cheering for you. Aw, oh, thanks. Let's go. You got this. All right. Let's see how well uh, we do. It's been a while since I did the darts. Okay. That's a bullseye right on round one. You know, actually, now that I think about it, I didn't even look at, like, her abilities or anything. Like, how is she For real? a darts, as a darts player? I'm not entirely sure. Good effort. Round two. So it's my turn. I'll need to watch for my, watch my form when I throw. My turn. Yep, go for it. I'm very curious to see how you play. You, you did okay, I suppose. Senpai, I'm counting on you. Yeah, let's give this another shot. We're gonna want to let her try to finish this up on her next round. So let's uh, get a bullseye real quick, and then uh, maybe one of one of these. Yep. And I know that would finish it, but let's not finish this quite and do that. There we go. So Sumi should be able to finish this off on her next go around. Huh? It's my last round. I have to make it count. My turn. What should we do? Uh, what would be the best way to throw here? Throw like a gymnast. Don't think. Just feel. Trust your instincts. I feel like throw like a gymnast. I, mm. I don't know. I feel like that's the obvious one, but I feel like that wouldn't work well for her. I'll give it a try. I was wondering what this oh, that, was about. That doesn't make sense. Damn it! Yeah, I had a feeling. Yep. Nope. There it goes. Oh no! She busted. I'm so sorry. Uh, no. I. That's kind of my fault. Sorry. I screwed the pooch on that one. Probably should have told her to trust her instincts. There, we're done. Damn it! Wow, that's the first time I screwed one of those up. Thank goodness. Well, at least we do get the one rank. 
we're just gonna have to do this again, I guess. I have a favor to ask. I've been studying the theory on how to play darts. Uh, how are things with Makoto? We don't need to do it. I have a favor to ask. Nope, I'm calling it a day. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> we don't need to do it. This is good. We don't need to do it. We already maxed you out there, my dear. Hmm. All right, well, Sumi's hit rank two. So I that guess we just so go ahead fun. and uh, do this again. That should do it for now. All right then. Yep. See you later. Ah, tis a Sunday. Um. Oh, what's up, Fujaba? Uh, why the long face? Just something's been on my mind for a while now, actually. Can we talk sometime? Whatever's good for you. Sure. Thanks. Hmm. Well then. <laughs> the home shopping mm -hmm. network. Yeah, Futaba's is behaving a little odd. And Sumi's not available. I guess maybe we go hang out with the uh, Futaba. Would that that or Haru? You know what? Let's let's go hang out with Futaba. I suppose if we go hang out with anybody, it, it probably should be her. A lucky worker bag. Pick me up tie, physical ointment, magic ointment. That's actually pretty nice. Improved or imported protein. Ooh. You know what, actually? We could probably do with the proteins. And we're going to keep working out. Yeah, give me, give me the protein. Sure, it costs $400, but <laughs> I got the cash. It's fine. Oh, man. All right, well, there goes that. Oh, Futaba. Got some time. Oh, musical. Hey, you got some I time right now? You for a sec? Yeah, sure. Let's, hey, uh, hey. let's, let's hang out. Actually, hold on. Can you come a bit later? I'll leave my door open, so just come in. Uh, sure. She should be good now. What the hell's going on with her? Hello? Eh. Sorry. What? Why? I thought we were good. What's with the mask? Um. Um, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about, so... Is it hard to talk about? It's all about you and me. I made a promise to help you whenever you were in trouble. For your sake and for mine. Now I... Hey, you're helping now. Don't worry about it. I know what you're upset about. Yeah, I'm gonna help us fight back. I'm part of the Phantom Thieves, right? I feel the same way as everyone else. I mean, yeah, I don't want to accept this reality. It's all still true, but... I know this isn't real. I figured that out a while ago. But I thought if I got to see my mom again, then it was okay. I'm so selfish. I was just thinking about what I wanted. You're mad, I know, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I get it. It's easy to just want that. Don't lie to me, you're mad at me, you have to be. Why wouldn't you be, I betrayed you. Do you don't you get that? You didn't betray me, Futaba, come on. Sorry, I guess I'm still a little freaked out. This isn't even what I wanted to talk about. There's something else I wanted you to hear anyway. Can I, um, is it cool if I say it? Yeah, go for um, it. So, like, Dr. Maruki's reality isn't totally 100% illusion, right? Yeah, as far as I understand it. Well, maybe I'll never know for sure, but... If it is true, then I really did get to see my mom again. She was so nice. You're really a lot like her, you know? Yes. You think? I'm happy to hear that in a weird kind of way. But what it comes down to is, I won't get to stay with her. I know. I mean, I know now that this is all in my head. But I wanted to talk with her more. Go on shopping trips and stuff. I don't know, just... I wish I had more time with her. But... But still, like, we can't just live totally dependent on Dr. Maruki's reality. Right? Even if I won't get to see my mom anymore, if I can manage to keep working hard and moving forward, like I was doing in our reality, then I... I think she'd be proud of me. Yeah, there you go. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. Mom could see that I was working hard being part of the group. I think she'd be really happy for me. All right, I agree. Yes. I've been thinking really hard lately, wondering how I'd want mom to see me. And I think I figured it out. I want to be someone who keeps looking ahead, someone who never stops improving. This time I'll do what I can to protect you and everyone else too. So, so let's go um... take back our own reality. A reality where we can beat anything the world throws at us, as long as we have each other. Reality my mom gave me. There we go, that's the Futaba I know. Whoa, hey, look Look at this Millennium Falcon, Falcon bullshit. <laughs> that's cool. Nice. <laughs> What's this power? I didn't know I still had this in me. All right. Al Azif. Nice. All right. There you go, Futaba. Level three for you. Thanks. Thanks for listening to all that. I feel a lot better now. Master Futaba has reached full recovery. Get ready for perfect navigation no matter what we're up against. A bold claim, Master Futaba. How's that? What can I say? I'm my mom's daughter. I'll be pestering you a lot more from now on, so sorry in advance and thanks. <laughs> well, See that's you fine. Later. You know what? I'm okay with this. Infinite scheme and ultimate support. Uh, ultimate support, effective strengthening slash healing all allies. May that Ooh, that's pretty cool. All attacks may defeat all foes and fully restore HP to all allies. Oh, ho! nice. That's that's some pretty good shit right there. Sweet. All right. This pleases me. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, evening, Lala Chan. How you doing? I see. I know you probably got work for me, but uh, I got other things I need to do, which we will do next time, which is more darts and more uh, <laughs> more other stuff. So thanks all for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. Dollar a month goes a long way to keeping this channel up and running. And I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.